We do love the beaches, the nightlife, the fun, and the freedom of vacationing in Mexico. And yet, amigos, until you ventured inland to explore and touch and taste the cultural history with the people, the food, the art, architecture, and archaeology, you won't ever really know the true meaning of Viva Mexico. Inland, it's sunny too. But inland, where life has flourished for thousands of years, you get to see the more mysterious, magical, must-see Mexico. Let's go to Puebla, for example. Puebla City is just a two-hour drive from Mexico City, but taking a walk through its streets of Spanish colonial architecture is like stepping back in time. Puebla City, surrounded by volcanoes and snow-capped mountains, was founded in 1531, and at that time it was settled mostly by immigrants from a tile and pottery region of Spain. Today this culture is alive and well in the city's artists' neighborhood, and the historic center, known to be one of the oldest in the New World, is now a UNESCO heritage site. Everything in Puebla starts at the Zocalo, the tree-shaded central square. On the east, this Zocalo is flanked by the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception and on the other sides by the lavish gold-embossed Rosary Chapel of St. Dominic and by the handsome portals of Spanish colonial buildings, homes and shops. I love the atmosphere in Puebla and the magnificent Aztec ruins are just eight kilometers northwest of the city. Cholula was originally a grand Aztec city of the 13th century. It was the period that produced the gold work, turquoise mosaics, and the lacquer pottery that has been unearthed today. With its 40 acre span and a height of 226 feet, this site is recorded as the largest ancient structure in the New World. all see so much more of Mexico.